Welcome back to the Delaware Way. I'm Larry Menti. I want to introduce you to three guys from Delaware who have put together a film competition for college students that helps at-risk kids. There's also a film camp that they're participating in that is for at-risk kids. So I'm proud to introduce you to Sean Gardner, who is the producer of Short War Productions, Gordon Del Giorno, who is the producer uh, as well, and Lou Gaddy, at-risk team advocate, Short Words Film Camp. Thank you all for being here. Let's start, Sean, with you. W what is the competition? Uh, in 2014, we ran a screenplay competition in which the winning screenplay was guaranteed to be made into a film. Uh, while we were producing that film in 2014, we decided to collaborate and turn 2015 up a notch by inviting college students from across the nation to submit video to the contest and invite two winning teams from whatever colleges submit to come to Delaware and produce our winning screenplay. And it has to be in Delaware, in Wilmington itself? So, so I entered this competition. What exactly are you looking for? Uh, well, the first of, there's two parts to it. First is a screenplay competition, which okay. is it put, it's really out to anyone. It doesn't have to be a college student, and they submit a short screenplay, 15 minutes, 15 pages, uh, and uh, we select the winner. In 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 conjunction with that, we have. Um, college students which were targeting different colleges across the country where they submit their 60 second video whatever it is we just want to see what their styles like and what the you know are they entertaining or the, the structure of it and they get uh, to enter to compete in Wilmington Delaware in the summer of 2015 we fly them in or drive them in from wherever they are two teams to compete and make that screenplay into a movie okay and do they both do the same screenplay yes all right, so, and it's whoever does the screenplay best. Right. And, and you're, helping to, you're helping to raise money for at-risk kids? Well, part of what we're doing uh, in conjunction with this competition is we're developing a film camp for local teens, young adults uh, that we call at-risk. And uh, Lou can talk more about that. Um, but basically, that film camp will feed as a way to use local uh, kids, young adults, uh, try to spark some interest in them for, to be in the film industry. And you two are filmmakers, right, as, yes. as well. And, and are you involved in this camp? Absolutely. So you're uh, going in to do the teaching and, and help out? Uh, we, I will be involved in maybe uh, the hiring part of who we're going to bring in to teach the, the different aspects of filmmaking. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that we have credible people coming in. And it's really not like we're trying to educate uh, somebody to be ready to do sound in a week or ready to do lighting or makeup. We basically want to have an introductory course that maybe sparks an interest in a young uh, teenager or young adult to maybe say, you know what, I am interested in this. I can be in the film industry. It's not uh, this larger than life thing that's only for people who we see on TV. That there are jobs, there, there is a need for production people, so we're hoping that this camp can maybe spark some of these uh, teenagers and young adults to wanting to do this for a living. So if, if I knew somebody that wanted to go to this camp, is it just open to the kids you're talking about or it's, can anybody it, go? It's, it's going to be open to anybody. If, they, if they're interested, we'll take a look at what they're interested in and if it fits, it works. And, and, and the good thing that I find is, is what's going to happen is we'll take the, the top eight kids that come out of this camp for the week and we will then assign them to each of the production teams that are coming in to make the movie so they will not only get some hands-on experience in being assistants on a movie set but they'll also interact with kids who are in college who are so it's that whole melding of the whole process that we think will you know sort of add some excitement to their lives let's do the particulars now let's let so if the people are interested in getting involved in the contest, what do they do? They go to our website, uh, shortwarsproductions.com, and the information for the contest is all on there. It's very clear cut. Uh, the writing portion of the contest is open to anyone. It doesn't matter if you're 18 or 80. If you can write a short screenplay, send it in. If we select it to, to produce next summer, they're guaranteed $2,000 for that 10 to 15 page script. The video portion is limited to college students. 
where we are looking to bring in non-professional filmmakers that are educating themselves to become filmmakers and give them a, a week of fast-paced filmmaking. I mean, we really are going to bring them in on a Sunday. In a day, right? We're going, to, we're going to bring them in on a Sunday. They're going to cast on a Monday. They're going to do a walkthrough on Tuesday. They're going to shoot on Wednesday. And they're going to have a couple of days to either get back and reshoot and edit and premiere that film on Saturday night. We just finished our first production for the 2014. We shot it in 14 hours on a day. And that process to scale it down into one week is going to be very intense. And the kids get paid, too. I mean, the, the college the, kids that come the, in and do that. The team that wins, they, they will each share part of that $10,000 grand prize. So they'll each get about $2,000. Sean Gardner, producer of Short Wars Productions. Gordon Del Giorno, producer. Lou Gaddy, works at At-Risk Teens. Thanks all so much for coming in, and good luck to you. Thanks we'll be right back. Having.